Yep, we're gonna, I assume, hopefully everybody's ready because we're gonna get this moving here in about 30 seconds. Ms. Raypole, I'm sorry to interrupt your class, but a fire has just broke out and we need you to do what you do. Even before the alarm is set, Carroll's administrators are preparing for the routine fire drill. By state law, Carroll and all other high schools are required to perform a fire drill once every month, as well as other indoor emergency drills like lockdowns or tornado drills. On some occasions when they are available, the Huntertown Fire Department will come and oversee the fire procedures taking place. They do it so that we can get more feedback from them. Typically what they do is they divide and conquer. And so um, there's probably about four or five firemen that come in. They split up into different areas and they're looking for different things. Although having a drill every month seems repetitive to some students, there's more to a drill than just practicing evacuating the building. The hope is that over time that our staff ends up being aware of where fire pools are at, located as far as where the location of their room, um, and then the procedure just happened at that point. Fire drills are also good practice for students and staff to learn and know what to do in the case of a real emergency. You know, what would we do if, if there's an actually a fire in that area or something else has obstructed it and we try to put kids and stu you know students and, and staff okay think on your feet now what now where do you go what do you do for emergencies fire drills and other procedures are good practice for potential real life situations carol administrators want the school to be as prepared as possible for unknown events so emergency drills are necessary to ensure the highest safety for faculty and students for studio 415 i'm emily drake